Well, good morning. This is Arthur Blessed. I'll try to get a little louder here. This is Arthur Blessed out carrying the cross. And, man, it's, it's, it's oh, today. Uh, the, uh, the weather is about 12 degrees. And, uh, and that's without the wind. And I don't know if you can hear me or not, but anyway, I'm out carrying the cross and it's wonderful. It's cold. <laughs> I am telling you, it is cold. And I have my, uh, my gloves on here that uh, have uh, power, uh, heat, and I just thought I would uh, talk to you for a moment. I can't see whether I'm turning off the sidewalk onto this trail because uh, I can't see where the curbs are and uh, and me uh, falling off the curb. So uh, anyway, let me see if I can get that going. You know, in life, there are many storms and you got to just keep going through the storm. And uh, I had planned to walk today, which is uh, New Year's Day around the world. Uh, it hadn't, it's still December 31st, 2018 here in Colorado, but already in Australia, New Zealand, and Japan, and China, it's, uh, it's daytime. And I know the wind is bad. It's just, uh, but that's the way it is. <laughs> that's the way God planned it. And so you just uh, go ahead and do it. I was planning today, yesterday was, uh, was 60 degrees and uh, or 50, 50 or 60. And it was warm, very nice. And then here it is today. Uh, the snow, you can see it just coming right in on me here. Uh, and it's uh, going to be about zero tonight. I don't know if you can hear me. If you can hear me, would you give me a thumbs up? And then I know that there we go. Thumbs up, you're hearing me. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, Heike and Hideska, Anthony. And uh, anyway, what do you do? People ask me when it snows. I say, you enjoy the snow and you just keep on walking. They say, what do you do when it gets hot? I say, well, you just keep on walking. And <laughs> I see Ernie there from South Africa, uh, Day D and Diana and others of you. Welcome in Jesus' name. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? He that hath pure, clean hands and a pure heart, who's not lifted up their soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Praise the Lord even when it's rain, even when it's wind, even when it's a storm. Even when it's cold, 
you, what do you do? You just keep on going. And uh, my heart shall sing when I pause to remember a heartache here is just a passing thing. The things of earth will dim and lose their value when we recall they're just borrowed for a while. But until then, I'll keep on singing. Until then, I'll carry on. Until that day I see my Savior. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy, holy name. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, all the earth from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same the Lord's name is to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. His name is to be praised. The name of Jesus. Oh, wow. The, uh, it's good to get here on this this trail. I can. Uh, it's not. There are no curbs up there on the uh, sidewalk. I couldn't see where the curb was. It nearly fell down several times because I stepped off the curb and uh, it just dropped. So. I got on this trail here, and this trail is a gravel trail, and it's smooth and has pretty good tractions under there. Okay, holy, holy, holy. That's the Lord God Almighty. Ernie says that. <laughs> oh, wow. I moved that down just a little bit so I could speak a little better. I don't know what I look like, but... Uh, Ah, you know, in life there are seasons, and seasons come and the seasons go, and in life you have to be prepared to go through whatever it is that we have to face. this is a wonderful day. This is Colorado. And you have millions, tens of millions, almost probably a fourth of the population of the U.S. or maybe a fifth depend on the, on the waters of the Colorado Rockies, the snow. And so when the snow melts, it goes into the rivers, and that's a lot of the water they drink in Los Angeles and San Diego, and irrigate with all the way down to the Mississippi River. And so in life, sometimes what may be a struggle uh, may also be This temperature is tough right now, but it's beautiful. But it brings life in the springtime. And so, whatever struggles you go through as you follow Christ, that's not the end. It's 
the water. I have, I've said before, I don't know if I've ever said it on Go Live, but uh, the, uh, I've, I've said many times people think when I'm walking and in terrible places of war, poverty, injustice, poor health conditions, everything. And they often mistake my sweat for my tears because when I see the burdens of the world and I know the agony and the suffering that's in this world having carried the cross through every nation in the world and every major island group and oftentimes it's the tears that are washing my face and not the sweat but I care and as long as God gives breath to these lungs and life to this body that will enable me to move, I'll be out somewhere carrying the cross, preaching the gospel. And I was just praising the Lord the last few days in a special way that I could grow old at this time in history. 2018, 2019 now coming in and be able to still carry the cross and also to be able to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world at my age and I don't have to beg for money. I don't have to try to get you to join anything. I'm not asking for anything but for you to follow Jesus, to live for Him, to walk with Him, to welcome Him in your heart as Savior and Lord, and seek and desire to obey Him and share with others the message of the living Christ. At no other time in the history of the world, except the last few years, has it been possible for a person like me, who's now 78 years old, as to be able to have the opportunity to preach and share the gospel of Jesus freely while I'm walking. I mean, it's glorious. It's, it's, it, is, it is historic that we're able to do this. And in the coming year, in 2019, I, I have an announcement I'll make tomorrow, which is uh, the f January the 1st here in America. Uh, but like I said earlier, in other parts of the world, you're already in 2019. Uh, but it is the privilege we have of being alive at this time in world history where we have the technology. When I was like in college, doing missions, you had to like leave your country and go to another country. And that's still missions. People still do that. But now, some of you housewives, some of you that are elderly and even retired, some of you that are young mothers, are teenagers, can have a worldwide witness for Jesus Christ through social media. And I encourage you to get involved and being a witness for Christ. You can be a missionary, an evangelist through social media in reaching the world for Christ. You can share with your neighbor, with those at the shops you go to, 
every place we are to be a light for the glory of God. And you may say, but author, uh, I'm, I don't feel called to carry a cross. Carrying a cross is, is a mission for every follower of Christ. Not to carry necessarily a literal physical cross, but it is the cross that signifies that we have died to self to serve him. Paul said it this way, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. So we are to allow God to fill us with his love, with the Holy Spirit, with power, and, and to go forth serving him and following him all the days of our life. So there's no excuse. I've got to change shoulders with the cross. I don't know that you can really see me that good here, but I've the weight of the cross cuts off the blood circulation to my arm. And when my arm gets numb and I can't feel my fingers, then I change my shoulders. And right now the blood is coming back to my right arm. And, and I am going to change the cross back over. And, uh, and then I, I will continue. But many people uh, didn't know that. The, but the weight cuts off the, the blood circulation. Doctors told me back in the 1970s that it would uh, eventually uh, become permanent and probably have to cut off my arm uh, because of the uh, weight continually being on my shoulders. I said, uh, we'll see what, what we have from God. And here I am starting the 51st year of carrying the cross and my shoulders feel great. Praise Jesus. And uh, so anyway, I just encourage you to, to hear the call of God for your life. He's called each of us to walk and follow in his steps. And we are to, it, it's very important, we are to lift up the holiness of God. And when we see the holiness of God and who God is and who Jesus is and, and what Jesus did, it convicts us of sin, righteousness, and judgment. The Holy Spirit does. And then we see the need of conversion. And it's very important to understand that those outside of Christ are lost eternally, according to the Bible. And that you and I, as followers of Christ, are to be his witness. And through the trail of history, those who've been true, committed followers of Jesus have gone to the ends of the earth with the good news of Jesus Christ. And so I pray today that many of you will feel the call of Jesus saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for me? And may your reply be, Here am I, Lord. Send me. Send me, so send I you.
to those who are broken hearted. That's that song, So Send I You. That just keeps ringing through my ears the last few weeks. And uh, Jesus said it, As my Father hath sent me, so send I you. So when you know that He sent you and He'll be with you, then we're not afraid to go anywhere and deliver the message of Jesus Christ. So I want to have a prayer before I close. My lips are kind of, I think that my lips are freezing over. Uh, Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for all of those who are watching and listening around the world. And I ask, Lord, that you touch their lives, that you bless every person in this new year, and that we would live our life in line with the Word of God and your will for our life. I ask, Lord Jesus, that you would draw those to yourself right now that need to be saved. Those of you that say, I need, I'm not sure of my salvation, pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, that you came from heaven to earth and gave your life to redeem me and save me. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Save me. Be Lord of my life. I forgive everybody. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me and making me your child and help me to be a living witness for you and share you with others. In Christ's name, amen. Lord, I pray that you would bless now every child in every home, that you would bless the children, Lord, just like you did when you were here on earth. Put them in your lap and lay your hands upon them. I pray that you would bless those who are struggling with health issues and that you would grant healing in their bodies and people would be healed by the power of God. We pray, Lord, that you would just bless every life, people who need jobs, people who have bills to pay, who who have debts to pay, and they need financial blessing. We pray you would bless them. We pray that you would touch those who have abundance, that they would share with those who have needs. Now may the love of God the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore in Jesus holy and matchless name I pray amen amen oh wow wow I am uh Look at my gloves there, are lit up. That means hot. Uh, it has three temperature gauges. Like warm, middle, and hot. I got it on hot. And uh, I pray that, that you'll be hot for Jesus. Red hot for the Lord. Amen. Punch the button up to high. And go, go, go. I can't believe that uh, we've made it this far. I am, uh, oh, thank you for all those hearts and thumbs up and everything. Hello, Margo. God bless you. And, uh, oh, I want you to see something. I've got to, I'm going to let you see and this, uh, the storm, and then we, we were talking about the storms. Now watch this. 
let me see. There is the sun. <laughs> there is the sun. The sun shining through the snowstorm. Isn't that glorious? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Whew. Oh, I did. So, uh, had to take my glove off to do that. <laughs> Whew. It's it's cold. It's cold. Hello there, uh, Tony and Margo. Oh, it it thing came up. Said my battery's low. I think this cold temperature here at about 12 degrees plus the wind chill. It's it, it it's cold, folks. And I pulled the cover off of my over my mouth so I c could speak clearer. And that is just about froze up there. So uh, I'm. Uh, going to tell you all goodbye and pray that you have a blessed New Year's Day wherever you are in the world and that you'll renew your commitment with Christ to walk with Him and share Him and live for Him and thank God that you live at this time in history. God chose. It says my phone's fixing to go off. Uh, it burns a lot of power, uh, so when I have to say goodbye, it burns a lot. When it's cold, the batteries don't last as long. So anyway, until then, Jesus loves you. Tell somebody about Jesus. Praise the Lord.